What's up, BandLab community? My name is Coleman, and today I'm going to show you where to find free vocal samples and how to use them in your music. So let's first break down what vocal samples are and a few ways that we can use them in our music. When it comes to vocal samples, there's multiple iterations we can find them in. One would be a vocal melody that has lyrics in it. Another could be a rap vocal. Another could be a vocal chop melody that we can use over our production. Or it could be some oohs and ahs that we use in the background of our song to add some ambiance. It could be ad libs that just fill certain spaces in our production. Or a tagline that comes in right before the drop or repeats throughout the hook. So now let's jump into BandLab and I'll demonstrate how you can use a few of these different vocal sample iterations in your music. So I'm going to open up our studio, then I'm going to go to BandLab Sounds, and from here we have access to thousands of free high quality vocal samples. So the first vocal sample I'm going to look for is something we can start our track with. So I'm thinking more like oohs and ahs so that we have a bit of a background to start our track on. So I'm going to search for vocal... And if we want to, we can also filter these samples. So I'm going to go in and set it to only show me samples that exist between 140 and 150 BPM. So this sample, which is actually from my own pack, fits exactly what I'm saying. It's an ambient kind of vocal we can use to start our track around. But it's not too intense that it's going to overwhelm our final vocal or different melodies that we want to layer on top of this. So now, before I add any other vocal samples, I'm going to quickly add a drum beat to this to give us a little bit more context for what we're looking for in terms of the next vocal sample. So I'm going to go plus, drum machine, empty, then I'm going to go to 808, and I'm going to change to a different drum kit. I like the way Boom Bap Classic sounds, so I'm going to click to add that in. And then now I'm going to loop our sample and figure out our drum pattern really quickly. So I'm going to switch this to four bars and then I'm going to have our snare come in on every third quarter note of each bar. Then I'm going to have our hi-hat hit on every eighth note. Let's click to add pattern A to this. So we have this repeat, we can go like this. And now it's a continuation of pattern A, and we can go back in and continue editing pattern A. Let's add our kick. And now I want to look for some sort of vocal sample that has a really strong melody in it. It can be vocal chops, or it could have lyrics. Take me, I will give you all of me. Everything you leave, what's so I think this vocal sample is going to fit well, so I'm going to add that in. Now we can align this with our track. Now let's hear how this sounds. Now what we can do is we can go into the effects and we can do some EQ work to mix these together. So on our original vocal pad sample, what I want to do is I'm going to do some EQ work. So I'm going to go to Tone, then I'm going to select Easy EQ, and I'm going to high pass it a little bit. And so we can really hear what's going on. I'm also going to solo this sample. Hit play. Then let's go into our EQ. And I'm also going to do some low passing. This way I can have that main vocal stand alone a little bit more in that higher space and help it stand out in the mix. So that sounds good to me. Now let's play this alongside our song. And we can bring the volume up of that sample that we just EQ'd a little bit.
And now I also want to go into our main vocal sample with the lyrics and I want to bring down some of that low end just because it's a little heavy in the mix right now. So I'm going to go to tone, then I'm going to use the EQ3M and we're just going to bring down that low end a little bit. So that sounds great to me and I want to add one more vocal element. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and click plus and we're going to add a bass to this. So I'm going to go to virtual instrument, then I'm going to go to electric basses and let's play a few of these. So I think jazz bass fits what I'm looking for, so I'm going to select that. And then now I'm going to play on our keyboard to figure out what the bass pattern is that I want to record in. So now let's go into our MIDI pattern. Then I'm going to hold on our grid, select all. Then I'm going to click on a note, hit Q. Then I'm going to quantize this all to the eighth note. And this way it's going to tighten up our plane. So let's listen through and see if we need to adjust any of the notes or if we got it right. So I'm going to go in and I'm just adjusting the length of some of these notes. So I'm really happy with how this bass is sounding. The last vocal element I want to add is some additional ad-libs to our lead vocal. So I'm going to hit plus, voice and audio. Then I'm going to go into effects and I'm going to select a preset that I think will sound cool with my voice on this track. So I can hear what the preset sounds like in real time. I'm going to hit this headphone icon. Now I'm monitoring my vocals through my phone's microphone. So I can go through and click on some of the presets. Say what you need. Say what you need. I will give you all of me. Say what you need. Say what you need. I will give you all of me. Say what you need. Say what you need. And something helpful to do is when I'm listening to these presets is to listen to them while I'm singing in conjunction to playing the song. That way I can hear what presets sounds good specifically on the song. Because it really doesn't matter how the preset sounds on its own. It really only matters how it sounds with the song because that's what we're trying to fit the vocal to. So let's hit play. Now I can listen. What you need, what you need. If you are me. Give you all of me, give you all of me. So I think this preset sounds actually pretty good for the ad lib that I want to add to this vocal. So I'm going to hit save. Then I can go into the preset and I can edit it additionally. So I want to add a little bit more reverb to this since I want it to sit farther back in the mix. And I'm also going to turn on the auto pitch. Say what you need, all of me. Now I'm just going to hit record and record our ad lib in. So I think the second half sounded really cool. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to go and I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to paste that onto the first half as well. And then to make this vocal stand out a little bit more as an ad lib, I'm actually going to take away some frequencies. So I'm going to band past this using the easy EQ. And this way, we'll actually cut the lows a bit with a high pass and the highs a bit with a low pass filter. And this way, we're going to restrict the frequencies that you hear in the ad lib. And it's going to bring it a little more back and muddled in the mix, but it'll differentiate it from our lead vocal. And in that way, it's actually going to stand out more than if it occupies the same frequency spectrum. And that's just because two things that look the same, they don't really stand out. But if you have one that's different from the other, even if we hear it less, it stands out a bit more just because it's different. So I'm going to hit play and I'll adjust the low pass. I 
And you'll hear, even though it's a lot more restricted in the frequencies it occupies, it really just stands out a lot more in the mix because it's so different from that lead vocal in terms of the EQing. So I think all that's left now is to go ahead and play the finished beat back from the top. So I really hope this video helped teach you a few different ways that you can use vocal samples in your own music and inspire you to go out and try them today.